Um, now I did. I, you did talk about Fuentes a little bit. You saw he was. I guess we might as well mention this too, though. He was subpoenaed by January sixth committee. Where do you think uh, things are going with that? And, I mean, obviously, guys uh, are not on great terms. Yeah. But, uh, but um, uh, this looks like seditious conspiracy to me. That's a serious charge. Well, that's a twenty-year jail sentence. Again, I that's that's your that's your take. I, I did want to give it to you to to, to allow you to, to comment on it. Yeah, um, I mean, because they've now moved to a new level of prosecution. Now, now keep in mind, Nick is he's being subpoenaed by Congress, so it feels yeah. like it's uh, a lawsuit or or a criminal well, is it that or are they just like not. he's nah. not going to jail because of this? Absolutely not. Well, that's what. I'm... But but we, I don't know what to say. We have the example of Stuart Rhodes. So, whoops, sorry. Um, Stuart Rhodes was charged with seditious conspiracy. And they, they seem to be moving to a new level of prosecution in terms of J6. And I can see that happening with Nick because his, his commentary with the blow, with, with the, the megaphone, that has been reproduced. I mean, that's hard to defend because you can defend a lot of things in terms of free speech. You can defend bold statements, outlandish claims. You can even kind of sort of defend death threats. Like if you say something like, you know, one of these days we should go down to Congress and, you know, hang them all or something. You can actually defend that with the first amendment. That's not an immediate death threat, but basically rooting people on while they're entering the Capitol, acknowledging, sorry, I've got a new webcam. I hate acknowledging that people are entering the Capitol, rooting them on, and then directly claiming that we've stopped the counting of the votes and we're not leaving here until Donald Trump is president for the next four years. I mean, I, I don't know what to say that that could be prosecuted as seditious conspiracy. And then also Nick was involved with Stop the Steal from the very beginning. So if they really want to go after the, you know, Ali Alexander, Alex Jones, all these people who were kind of there at the beginning promoting things, who rented the, you know, um, ellipsis or lips or whatever it's called in Washington, et cetera. Uh, yeah. It, it now, is it that or, or is it like, you know, show trial types or not even trial, like uh, showroom type stuff in Congress before the election, right? Like, I mean, are they really trying to build a case on people? I know they've, they did follow a new indictment against Epps the other day. I, I don't know. To me, it seems more of like a grandstanding type thing. Nick wasn't in the Capitol. Uh, there is some, I mean, a lot of people were there that day, right? You I know, know I mean? he at, wasn't in the Capitol. At, but at Trump's speech, though, there were a lot of people there. He was. Well, no, I'm just saying. You know. I know. I, I understand. I think it's, let's say this, it's 50-50 he gets charged, and then once he gets charged, it's 50-50 whether it sticks. Because seditious conspiracy is not used very often. It's only been used like half a dozen times or something like this. And it often gets thrown out on free speech grounds. So we'll see where this is going. But I would say that the heat is on. All right. Uh, now I don't think there's really nothing else, man. Um, I guess, uh, just thank you for coming on. Uh, if you got anything, I yeah. guess I did want to ask you, what do you, where do you think we're going real quick with COVID? I had to take a COVID test to get on the plane, uh, actually, uh, tomorrow. Um, is this thing winding down? Yes or no? I mean, you don't have to go into it too, too much. I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, I think it clearly is becoming endemic in the sense that everyone is going to catch this. At the same time, it's not like, I mean, flu doesn't act like COVID. I mean, the, the Omicron variant has been one of the most contagious diseases of all time. I mean, it's been incredible. And so I don't know. I don't know if we've seen the last of it. I, I just, this thing is just a fucking nightmare. And so I'm not even positive that this is now endemic and we're just going to kind of deal with like a slow bleed of COVID deaths or whatever, as terrible as that sounds. I, I, I don't think we've seen the end of it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.